time since I've uploaded a video, but I've been super busy with school. This was finals week, and probably over the last three days I've gotten a collective six hours of sleep, so I look awful. I didn't have time to do anything, get ready for this video, whatever. But it's appropriate because I'm talking about body image, so I just, you know, who cares? Um, and I feel awful, and the only reason why I'm smiling and acting like this is because I took a bunch of Adderall and caffeine, so... Yay for drugs! Uh, but anyways, I want to talk about Abercrombie because I'm sure you guys have heard all the stuff that's going on with Abercrombie. Um, lots of drama and Abercrombie is my favorite store and I shop there all the time because like it's my personal identity and it makes me feel good about myself because it makes me feel special and better than everyone else who's like not as cool as me. Like you know the, the lower people like they're down here and I'm like up here so I like to wear Abercrombie clothes. But in all seriousness, that's what they're going for. They're looking for the people who are super thin or like super buff like football player dudes and they don't want to market to anybody else. They do not produce sizes that fit people other than that demographic. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you the article. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. It pretty much says what I told you, that they don't stock extra large or extra extra large and women's sizes because they don't want overweight women wearing their brand. They want the cool kids and they don't consider plus size women as being a part of that group. Then the CEO said, it's almost everything. That's why we hire good looking people in our stores because good looking people attract other good looking people and we want to market to cool, good looking people. We don't market to anyone other than that. Really, really, really really, 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 really ridiculously good looking. That was a Zoolander reference if you didn't get it. But no, seriously, they actually have removed people from the store who were shopping because they didn't like the way that they looked. Like older people, like if you were shopping for your grandchildren, even your children, or if they just don't like the way you look, they'll kick you out of their store. Google it, there's all different kinds of accounts. It's completely ridiculous. And they also do not donate any clothes that are, have been damaged because if they have like a seam missing or a button's missing or you know, just something doesn't, isn't working or something, they, they send it back to the company and instead of fixing it, and and putting it back out in the stores or donating it, they throw it away because guess what? They can't donate it to poor people because then poor people would be wearing the brand and that's not cool. He went on to say, in every school there are the cool and popular kids and then there are the not so cool kids. Candidly, we go after the cool kids. We want the attractive all-American kid with a great attitude and a lot of friends. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely we are. And you would think that that wouldn't be a good marketing strategy, that you wouldn't want to exclude certain types of people because obviously then you have less people buying your product, but apparently they think it works out for them because he pretty much said that the companies that try to target everybody, young, old, fat, skinny, are vanilla. You don't alienate anybody, but you don't excite anybody either. Well, congratulations, Mike Jeffries. You excited a whole lot of people over this controversy. And the thing about it, is, yeah, you know, what he said made me mad, and I think it's disgusting, and first of all, everybody keeps saying this, so I'm just gonna point it out. The guy who is so concerned with how everybody looks wearing his brand is, in fact, himself wearing his own brand, which, you know, it's his brand, whatever, he can do whatever he wants, but a lot of people have said that he's not the most attractive guy, and I'll just show you a picture. You guys can go ahead and decide for yourself. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have you go ahead and take off that sweater now. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and bitch. Or maybe they're just a bit depressed and don't know what else to do with their life because their identity is everything and they have nothing else of substance to offer to the world. Just kidding. I don't think that people who shop there or wear their clothing are these terrible things, these terrible people. But at the same time, if you step back and kind of look at the situation, eh, you don't have to shop there, you know? I mean, first of all, their clothes aren't that cute. Like, they're preppy and that's just the Anyways, um, but it's like, you know, it's like with anything, like Chick-fil-A, for example. They had that whole controversy with the, against homophobia. Of course I'm not going to go to Chick-fil-A, but I don't eat meat anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Same thing like this, I wouldn't wear their clothes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. People and corporations and businesses are, you know, run by people who have the same biases and, and terrible, you know, qualities of other human beings. People are generally not <laughs> the best all the time. They have, you know, different things that they discriminate against is, they, you know, they don't like overweight people, they don't like ethnic people of certain backgrounds, they don't like, you know, people who, you know, listen to this type of music or wear that type of clothes, so it's like, you know, everybody kind of has that type of thing, not everybody, but a lot of people do, and this guy just happens to be the CEO of Abercrombie and & Fitch, and because of that, he's, you know, expressing his bigotry via his company, and people are all up in arms about it, but, you know, don't, don't shop there, boycott it, don't give him business. To me, it's like, it's not that shocking, like it is, but it's at the same time, like, eh, just don't shop there, you know? Just ignore them, ignore him, he sucks. <laughs> don't support him, don't support Chick-fil-A. I mean, like, people are gonna be jerks. Just get used to it. But anyways, my point is, is who are you gonna blame more? Are you gonna blame these companies that do these things? Or are you gonna blame the people who continue to support and fund the companies who promote these types of ideals that you don't support? I mean, the only thing you can do about it is to not fund it. 
And if you're not funding it, then there's really nothing else left for discussion beyond that. Because like I said, people are going to be people, which is not a good thing all the time. People are jerks, people are gonna piss you off. So you just have to kind of get over it and don't fund it. Don't shop there anymore, guys, seriously. But the whole overarching thing of this whole thing is body image. You know, what is acceptable? What is, what is something that is attractive? What is socially acceptable? You know, it's just like, who cares? Do what makes you happy, and if what makes you happy isn't good enough for somebody else, then screw that, you don't need them. You don't need that type of negative energy in your life. Just ignore it. I mean, but the thing is, is like, uh, and I think I, I need to do more videos on body image because I have a lot to say about it. I feel like, Obviously, there should not be discrimination against people who are overweight. That's just ridiculous. People who people who do that are are low lives. Just I I, God, I just I get so pissed off when people are are rude like that. But at the same time, I feel like it's almost gone too far in that direction. If you know what I mean, like like it's almost like socially unacceptable to be thin. Like I get crap all the time from people because they're like, oh my God, you need to go eat a cheeseburger because you're a vegetarian and you're too skinny. It's like, look, this is how I am. This is how I've been my whole life. I'm not doing anything special. Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. That's not necessarily for health reasons. It's a nice bonus, but that's not why I do it. But it's like, you know, if, if you see a, a thin girl online, a lot of times people are like, oh my God, she's anorexic. It's like, no, she's just thin. And another way that it goes too far too is that it almost, it's like, it's not about image. It's not about what people think about you. It's about your health. So I feel like, if someone is overweight and they're eating unhealthy and they're doing unhealthy things with their lifestyle, should you judge them and, and, and look at them and, and like judge their looks and, and belittle them because of that? Absolutely not. But should they feel justified in staying that way and not doing anything to improve their life or to improve their health because they feel like it's, oh, I, I am the way I am and big is beautiful and yeah, it's beautiful and a lot of people are that way, but at the same time, I'm sick and tired of seeing people that I know and love have heart attacks and drop dead and have diabetes and all these things. A lot of that happens in my family because, well, I'm beautiful the way that I am. Yes, you are, but at the same time, I would really like you to live longer than, you know, 40. So, you know, I, I need to do a whole other series of videos on this because it's a very sensitive topic that I've been avoiding because people honestly don't want to hear it, especially from me. So I'll do it in another video, but this video is just about this guy being totally rude. Don't shop at Abercrombie if you don't like it. I mean, like I said, people are going to be jerks sometimes. You just gotta ignore them. Don't fund them. Don't go to Chick-fil-A. Don't go to Abercrombie and be done with it. But really quick before you guys go, I want to tell you about a really cool website that somebody sent me. It's where you go online. It's completely free to sign up and these companies go on there and they put their products out for review before they sell them to the public. So what they want you to do is you go on there, you review their product, take a few surveys, and they pay you for it. How cool is that? They give you Amazon gift cards, they give you money. It's pretty sweet. And with me being in school, I am poor, I need free stuff, and I need money, and I need Amazon gift cards. And every three months, they give away $10,000. How cool is that? You could win $10,000. And you know what? If you guys win, I feel like since you heard about it from me, I deserve like half? Like 10%? 10%, 10%, I guess. Okay, give me something. You should give me something. But seriously, yeah, I checked out the website. Like I said, totally free to sign up. Just go on there, take some surveys, give your opinions. Companies want the research. They want to know what you think about their products. And it's a super easy way to make a quick buck online. And I don't know about you, but that's something that I really need. So go check it out. And like I said, give me money if you win. So yeah, if you want to check out that website, the link is in the description. So go click on it. But anyways, like I said, I'm really sorry that it's been so long since I uploaded a video. It's been finals week and I have board exams at the end of this month. So it's going to be really slow for me this next month and it's going to suck and I'm going to be like this on Adderall the entire time. But anyways, it's good to rant. I haven't ranted about something in a long time. So I got that out of my system. I need sleep. All right, I'll see you guys later. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, and my like page, and my personal page, and Twitter, and, and Tumblr, and Instagram, and like billions of social networks. Just follow me on every, stop me. Okay, great, I'll see you guys later. Bye!